multi-billionaire governors to multi-billionaire pensioners. That is the story of many former governors in Nigeria. In the next few days, some of these governors will be leaving office, but there has been a significant uproar surrounding the pension schemes of both current and former governors, which many Nigerians have criticized as excessive and morally questionable, considering the financial circumstances of the states from which these pensions are being funded. But the life of affluence and luxury continues for some of these governors, all at the expense of the states. For instance, upon leaving office, River State Governor and his deputy will enjoy benefits as approved by the State Pensions Law 2012. Under the law, former governors are entitled to three brand new vehicles, replaced every four years, in addition to receiving 100% of their basic salaries. 300% of their annual basic salaries for furniture, free medical services, and provisions for entertainment. In Kanu, the pension law enacted in 2007 provides, among other things, that former governors and their deputies will be entitled to 100% of the incumbent's basic salary, including a well-furnished six-bedroom house for the governor, while former deputy governors are allocated a four-bedroom house. The law also provides for free medical treatment for them and members of their families, as well as an annual 30-day vacation within and outside Nigeria. Former governors are also entitled to an office space, two drivers, and a personal staff who must hold a position not lower than that of a principal administrative officer. In Lagos State, Although the governor will not be leaving on May 29th, having won his re-election, the Pensions Law of 2007 provides that a former governor is entitled to six brand new cars every three years and the ownership of a house in both Lagos and Abuja. The estimated cost of a house in Lagos is valued at 750 million naira, while one in Abuja is valued at 1 billion naira. Furthermore, Former governors, along with their spouse and unmarried as well as married children, are provided with free medical care. Our next governor is also entitled to a cook, steward, gardener, and other domestic staff who are pensionable. Under the same law, former governors are entitled to 100% of their annual basic salaries, three cars, two backup cars, and one pilot car every three years. This is not uh, right for a nation where we are talking about the high rate of poverty. Let me tell you, as a governor, you have a security vote. You have other allowances that comes in for eight years for crying out loud. And then you talk about vehicles, houses at your choice, these at your choice. These are athletes. What will you do with it? Calculate what goes out of the treasury every year for one governor or the deputy. It's so outrageous, it's so outlandish. And then you look at that, it's a state that is also struggling to survive. They cannot pay salaries. They cannot fix basic infrastructure, no hospitals, no school functioning. Then a, a governor that has served and who is already a multi-billionaire is taking so much out of the system. Beyond the significant financial burden caused by these pension packages, Many states are grappling with substantial debt levels, including both foreign and domestic debt, which puts further strain on the state's resources. It's discretional because the law does not stop them from collecting their allowances. So if they want to give away their own allowances, then it's discretionary. More disturbing is the fact that some of the governors benefiting from the state pensions have either transitioned to the Senate or serving as ministers. Despite receiving salaries and allowances in their current roles, they simultaneously continue to draw monthly from the already depleted funds of their respective states. These are uh, incoming National Assembly should immediately pass a law. Once you are governor and you are elected in the Senate, or you are appointed a minister, you should lose one. Because you can't you can have a big elephant in your head that you are taking home to go and slaughter for your family to eat. And you saw one small uh, bush rat 
you want to carry it again. And by the other side, you see another cricket, small cricket that is meant for poor people. You want to collect it and you hold two of them like this and you are going home with it for you and your family. That's not that's unacceptable. Various states have passed those laws and they are they are already have been they are already operational. A major concern is that these benefits are rewards for a maximum of eight years in office. What do civil and public servants who spend up to 35 years in service get? Amidst the declining economic situation in the country, where some states struggle to meet the minimum wage of 30,000 Naira for their workers, billions of Naira continue to flow into the accounts of former governors and their deputies in the name of pension.